everybody. Um, Mecca of Infuse 13 asked me to do my top 10 or my top 15 uh, eyeshadows videos. So I thought I'd jump right in and do it um, as soon as I got the time to do it. And that time is now. So uh, let me just um, say before I begin a big thank you to everybody, both old and new subscribers. I'm really, really happy that you choose to subscribe to my channel because I know there's a lot of makeup gurus, there's a lot of different channels, and I'm also subscribed to a lot of different channels. Um, but it's really, really nice because um, a couple of months back I felt like I know I, I don't make a lot of videos. I know that, but I felt like, um, you know, if you have like a couple of thousand views on your channel and you only have like 200 subscribers, kind of makes you feel people don't like what you do and makes you feel a little bit sad. I don't know why, but it does. It's always nice nice to get la, 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 recognition for what you do. So um, thank you so much to all and old subscribers, all the new and all the old subscribers. I'm really, really happy about that. Now that, that being said, let's just jump right into my top 15 eyeshadows because I couldn't narrow it down to the 10. So these are just my, and they're all from MAC because that's what I use for my work. Um, but there, there is a big mix. There's a lot of neutrals uh, and uh, some bright colors and you know, some in between, so um, hopefully this will give you ideas for new eyeshadows. Uh, I think most of the colors are colors that can be used by almost anybody. So, uh, yeah. And I'm not mentioning them in any specific order, just random. Um, so the first one is not my number one, it's just one of, out of the 15 because I really do like all of them almost evenly. So, yeah, and the first one I want to show you guys is from the Cult of Cherry collection and the Spice Chocolate Quad. It's this one right here called Sweet Chestnut. It's a really, really nice, like, deep burgundy kind of red, and, um, yeah. <laughs> um, the second one is this one right here called Paradisco. You guys probably already know this. It's also in the permanent line, so you can get that. This one is just from the Hello Kitty one because I don't have it in my um, normal palette. So this one is Paradisco. And it's like a corally, orange kind of color. It's really nice and really, really subtle. So if you have blue eyes and you want to enhance that with an orange, try out Paradisco. Now the third one is this one right here which is called Romping. And now it's a limited edition color from the Hello Kitty collection also. So, but most of these are permanent colors. Then I have, um, oh, excuse me, just a second. Sorry about that. Um, the next one is this one down here, which is not really showing off. This is more like the right color. Um, it's Samoa Silk and... I would say it's definitely one of the top three colors that I do tend to reach for a lot. It's one of my top favorite colors. So Moa Silk is just a really, really, really nice color. So, and then I've also chosen this one right here, which is Chrome Yellow, because it's a bright color and I love brights. And it's just a really, really good pigmented yellow color. It's just, yeah, it's just nice. And it's matte, and so is Samilla Silk, and so is Orange, which is also on my top 15. Because, once again, it's a bright color, and I love bright colors. So, yeah. And let's see what else we have here. Um, then I have this one right here. The color down here, which is Bitter, which I really, really, really like my bright bitter. <laughs> and then I have this one right here which is Electric Eel, which is a really lovely bright blue. Um, yeah. And then let's see what I have in some of the other palettes. I have this one right here, which is just a pure white matte color. It's called Gesso. 
And then I have this one right here, which is Shroom. Now, a lot of you probably already know Shroom. It's every, I think everybody knows Shroom, but if you don't, it's this really nice neutral color. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but not too much. So you can actually use it all the way up to the brow bone, because I'm not really a big sparkle kind of girl. Um, and then I have this one right here, which is uh, Patina, which is a really, really lovely um, grayish brown with a bit of uh, orange to it. And it's a really neutral brown color as for, you know, for example, if you want to go to the beach and you don't really want to look like you're wearing anything, Patina is a really nice color. And then I have, of course, Carbon. Everybody knows Carbon. It's just a matte black. And then one of my top three as well is this one right here, which is Copper Plate, which I love. It's such a really, really nice gray. Because sometimes a gray can be a little bit of a cold color, like this one right here is seen. It's a bit of a cold one, but um, copper plate has a bit of a brownish tone to it, so it's a bit warmer in the color. Yeah, and then let's see what's going on in this one. Not really that much. Hmm. Okay, so I think I actually have gone through all of them now. Is that true? Let's see, sweet chestnut comfort, just so pit mushroom. <laughs> yeah, I have. Now the only two colors left. Uh, I don't know if I said that in the beginning of the video, but is two colors I don't have, but I'm pretty sure they will be my favorites. So the two colors I need to get, and I can't wait to get them, is sushi flower, which is a really really nice pink color, and plumage, which is a lovely greenish navy kind of color which is matte and I I know that they will be my two favorites I use them at the counter all the time and they are just really really great colors so um, yeah feel free to leave a comment on what some of your favorite colors are because it would be fun just to see what your favorites are you can leave a video response if you want to um, but yeah, it was. Thank you so much to Makeup Infused Thirteen for um, making me do this because it was actually kind of fun thinking about which colors I use the most and which I couldn't live without because I have a lot of different eyeshadow, also from different brands. But you know, my Mac ones are the ones that I I use the most because I work for Mac. So, um, hope you enjoyed this and keep in mind that. Uh, I am doing my best to make a lot of videos, so uh, stay tuned uh, for more fun and quirkiness from me. Have a great day. Bye.